Hi everyone, and welcome back to the Bent Knitter. So this week we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to do a little bit of a tutorial for double-sided knitting. I had one or two people ask about how I do it and how I switch colors for it. So I decided just to make a little tutorial. I'm going to use an example of a scarf. I'm just going to do 10 stitches for the scarf so that way I can explain the gist of it. Whenever you're doing a double-sided project, you really need to cast on double the amount of stitches for the original project. So if I'm doing a scarf with 10 stitches, I have to cast on 20. And plus another two, two, one for each side of the item. So I'm going to cast on 22 stitches. Here. And as you can see, I'm going to be casting on with both colors, black and white for this example today. Alright, so I finished casting on. Now the first stitch for any double sided project, you're going to take both strands and knit that first stitch. After that, you're going to take the first strand, whatever is going to be your front color, black for the in this case, and you're going to knit that first stitch just with a black. And what you're going to take do then is take both strands, bring it to the front, and switch colors. And you're going to purl with all the colors. So we're going to purl with white. And then we're going to bring it to the back again. Knit with black. Then again, bring it to the front. Purl with white. And you're going to do that all the way across. So in the actual creation of the item, you're really only doing half of the number of stitches that you cast on with either color. So in the end you'll get 10 knit stitches and 10 purl stitches in this case. So if you've done any type of ribbing is very similar. It's just instead of one strand you have two. And you just have to be careful about getting it twisted or keeping it organized. So, we're almost to the end. Oop. Make sure you only get the right strand that you want for it, for what you're doing. Alright, so last purl, and with that last stitch, you're going to purl with both colors again. So again, you can see how it alternates, either one. And once you get a little bit further up, I'll do a couple more rows. And on the second row, just get more yarn out, you'll start with a white, white, yarn and knit and just do the opposite colors but same idea so you're gonna knit with the white this time and purl with black so that way one side is all black and one side is all white And again, last stitch, you're going to pull, pull both colors. 
colors. So you can kind of see how one star side starts becoming black. All right, I'm just going to do two more rows. All right, so we established, did a couple rows. So you can see, you know, one side is black now and one side is white. Now, in order to do, to squ switch colors, it's fairly simple. So you go in to start knitting. Start the row like you normally would, so you're going to start with black, knit one. Pro one. We'll do two each side, so... Alright, so put on my second white. Now, let's say if I wanted to ha bring white onto this side now. So I go into knit, and instead of br taking the black strand, I'm going to take the white strand and just knit. So we'll have two white stitches in a row. Go to purl, and you take the black strand and purl that. So now they're on opposite sides now. So we'll do another one. We'll do a total of three stitches for each side. So total of six stitches. So now in order to switch back, go to knit and just knit black again. So we'll have a double white once we switch colors the first time and a double black once we switch back. So we'll it'll be end up being three stitches on either side now. So I'm just gonna finish out this row like normal. Uh, so let's do one more row. We're going to add, we're going to switch the colors in the same three stitches. So what we'll do, start the row like normal, Pearl, knit both, start with the white. Oh my god. Alright, so we're back to the three stitches that we switched before, so we're going to, this is the last stitch that's on the other side, so again, so we reached the double black, so the first black we did normal, second black, which is normally a pearl on this row, we're actually going to do knit, I'm going to do a white, 
four. And now we are come to the double white. Again, so to end this, to switch it back, we're going to do the white again. We'll just finish out the row like normal. Right. So you can actually see the three white stitches on the black background. And again, you can see the three black stitches on the white background. That's how we really made the H's on the scarf that you saw in the past couple of weeks, is just that switching. It is, you have to be a little bit more careful with counting and making sure you start and end where you want because everything is doubled, so with every pattern, instead of doing 10, it's usually 20. If you have to knit 5, it's 10, or knit 5, pearl, ten, pearl 5, but that's how I did it. So if you're familiar rib with ribbing, you should have no problem with this. It's very similar, at least that's how I feel. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Thank you.